Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the round of 32 clash between Wenteros and Zahu. This is game two, um, Wenteros disconnected in the first game, so that's pretty unlucky, isn't it? Because it was still up in the air, he was he was behind, but it, it could have been a draw. I mean, it, you know, Zahu could have won anyway, right, with one turn, but it could have been a draw, so... Uh, Bit unlucky for Wenteros there. They've actually both got unpainted teams. Despicable. Let's make them red and blue as punishment. And um, I can tell you that Wenteros is Russian, qualified through the Ruby BL World Championship qualifiers. Zahu is Spanish and qualified through the Butter Cup. They're both playing on PC. And uh, Wenteros won his group. He's got a very similar build to me, four blodgers, two rogers, no rubbish elves, but he's gone with an apple rather than a reserve. Uh, Zahu's got the, you know, the pretty standard Skaven build, uh, but he's taken Wrestle off of a gutter runner, and he's got Tackle on a blitzer, and the rest is as you would expect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These guys in their unpainted teams, honestly. Honestly. Imagine just using the default. Like, honestly, I use the default a lot of the time on ladder because, you know, you could just lose your first game or two, right? Uh, lose a position or lose it. You, you know, it's you're not committed on ladder until you played a few games, right? Whereas with this, you know, you're going to be playing at least three games, and you know, maybe winning thousands of euros. So I think it's. Uh, I like looking at the uh, customizations for this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, he's going to have to dodge out here. And in fact, he's trapped himself. And he was blitzing with Wrestle, so he's not dodging out. Oh my god, I mean... That looks pretty rubbish, doesn't it? These must all be players in Ruby BL, right? I know it's dying red and bright there. World Star. Nepruha. Colian are all names that I know from her. Uh, you know, ladder, etc. Lots of very good Russian coaches in Blood Bowl. Gets the POW. Just gonna punch with a roger, but roger could get itself into trouble here. Doesn't punch with a roger. Mm. In that case, maybe it was better to blitz the witch with the tackle. Eh? Maybe gives up a three D on the gutter. Absolutely nothing standard. And now you can chain away the roger. Oh, but it's on to that guy. Oh, dear. So the witch elf is out of danger. But it's still a bit of a mess, this offense, thus far. I don't really like not maximizing blocks here. I feel like that's all you have to do, so just take the free roll at powering him with a guard, right? And then you could have blitzed the other one. That's what I would have done. No, oh, the roger is going to eat his own guard. He's lucky though, he only stuns him. Well, Durin Bjornsson, it is, unfortunately for me, but maybe it's good for the viewers, it is Devo versus Jim in the round of 16. And it's not an insult to Truk, I don't think Davos Lord's better than Truk, but I think his team build is better, and I do think he is better at Blood Bowl, so it's going to be a very, very tough game. But, you know, honestly, all, all of the round 16 games are hard, so it's actually not that big a deal. But it should be, it should be spicy for the streaming wise. 
Oh, imagine, imagine if I just got all of the cars I was owed. <laughs> imagine if that's like how dice worked. And I was just owed a load of cars and, and Devo was like owed a cast drought. <laughs> I just I just removed everything. That would be incredible. Incredible. Yes, Leno, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's a good point. That it will be split, yeah. It would have been amazing final, yeah, it would have been. It would have been that would have been the dream final for me. No no uh no dissing of anybody else, of course, in the competition, but yeah, you know, like with us being with casters and stuff, it would have been wild, wouldn't it? In Montpellier. <laughs> we could have played it on the board, yeah, that, imagine that. Uh, that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Like, short notice, they could have just got, like, some pro painter to knock up knock up a Dark Elf team and a, a Necro team. That would have been, that would have been class. Not so good for Blood Bowl 3, they wouldn't have done it, would they? Because it's a Blood Bowl 3 competition, not a Blood Bowl 1. So they definitely wouldn't have done that. But, um... Not unless... Not unless Games Workshop gave them a few million. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. No. It's a Blood Bowl 3. It's a Blood Bowl 3 tournament, and, and that's it, right? You know, like, misclicks. Misclicks that happen are, are misplays at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, so while some people have made mis misclicks and may, may feel bad that they didn't make Blood Bowl mistakes, it's not a Blood Bowl tournament, it's a Blood Bowl 3 tournament. Uh, not GW. Disgustorous. The Dark Elves that I'm getting painted uh, aren't GW either. Yeah, the ball's right back here. Not interested in getting into strip range early. It's tough, right? Because you don't want to fit like look at this viewpoint, right? It's where you want to zoom in to like something happening, but then that does leave the ball out of it sometimes. Oh my god, he dub skulled. He's been doing this a lot, honestly, uh, Zahu. This is a very mild criticism, but I've noticed he's been setting up three dice into two dice quite a lot. Rather than three into three, and it did bite him there. If you recall, I did say a critical one in thirty-six on his own drive. Uh, that was another example of him. He was he was doing the three into two a fair amount, yeah. and uh, it did bite him in the end. The strippers somewhat control, but not completely. I think it's just a three-two, isn't it? I mean, not. He's vaguely controlled the stripper. This could be a strip sack here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, rush, rush. Like, it's insane. Skaven are insane, aren't they? Honestly. Okay, that, that stand-up should have happened long ago, right? Um, if he was just going to stand him up. He could have dodged off to like make this a bit stronger down the sideline. Probably better. Because it's still a 4-2. You might still go for it, because this is a very reasonable strip. I guess there's no recovery. <laughs> yeah. yeah, while he could sack it, what's the point, right? He's got no recovery. So he's just going to try and keep the stripper safe. Skaven have, like, the most unfair players, right? Skaven and Wood Elves have the most unfair players. War Dancers and Gutter Runners. Uh, as good as Dark... I mean, Dark Elves are really good, right? Four movement, seven blodgers. <laughs> and Rogers is pretty insane. That's two plus, like... Dark Elves are a top, top team. But uh, Skaven have the most, like, Skaven and Wood Elves have the most broken players with, uh, with dancers and cutters. Yeah. Dodge to hit the stripper. Yeah. And the stripper is stunned. Bases a tackle feels bad, doesn't it? But it's late enough in the drive now that that's fine. And he's... This is horribly out of position here, Zahu, right? There's really good really good spot for Winteros. It's going to be really hard to get back in front of the Dark Elves and the Stripper has lost three squares of movement 
on the next turn. I mean, dancers are also better than gutters, aren't they? <laughs> Most of the time. But, you know, gutters still movement 9. Like, there's an argument for gutters. Certainly the, uh, the underworld gutter. It's just being better than dancers anyway. But yeah, having four is incredible. So he's, he's, he's so what he's done is he's got he's got the pressure in the only way he could get it right, which is the wrong side essentially, right? Because he's got two pluses ways. But he does have he does have the fact that he's got the Rogrin is good, but you know he can he can probably deal with this right. There's a whole uh, he can chain things. But, so it was it was decent from Zardu, but he'd, he'd lost it on the previous turn, but I don't think he'd lost his chance to stop the score on the previous turns, but maybe not. Yeah, dancers aren't 100% better than gutters, it's true. It's true. Movement 9 is is a hell of a thing. <laughs> a hell of a thing, movement 9. Oh, there's a Kaz. Apple. He's badly hurt. Easy apple. Easiest apple of his life. Ball carrier blitz. Gives him the both down. There's a success state and gets the KO. Very nice. Critical one in 36. Succeeds. And another one. Honestly, this was probably a bit of a mistake, right? That dodge. That dodge there was probably a bit of a mistake. He probably should have moved the witch elf in there. Even though the Witch Elf is better in another place, the fact that you just move the Witch Elf in there without rolling dice is probably better than that 1 in 60 user reroll. Or this guy. So yeah, very much a mistake there, I would say. But, you know, you can call it harsh or unfair to call it a mistake, but we're definitely going for the strip in the front now, right? He didn't have... He, this guy should have been in the front, I think. I mean, that was just kind of a pointless punch. Oh, it makes the it makes the it makes the scatter it makes the push direction better than scatter. It makes the push direction and potential scatter better. That's why. I did that. But um, fails the dodge in for the strip, and now yeah, definitely suboptimal. Exactly. Maybe not a mistake, but I don't know. I think I think making a two plus that you don't have to is close enough to be called a mistake. Um, but yeah, definitely suboptimal. Well, it's not even definitely suboptimal, right? Because at the end of the day, if if the witch elf gets to go in a better square because you've made that two, like it's got its pros and cons, right? It's pros and cons. I don't think the pro is worth the con. It's still just an opinion. Oh my god, I hate this block as well. By the way, he's got a rush. If he didn't have to rush, if you don't have to rush, you make the block, but you have to rush. Oh my goodness. And he makes the rush. Whew. It feels like a mistake that isn't necessarily incorrect, which is his weird way of calling it, but... It feels like a mistake to me, because to me it's making a 1 in 36, a critical 1 in 36 that could use a reroll. A 1 in 6 to burn a reroll that you just don't have to make. So for me it's close enough to call it a mistake, even though it could be optimal. It could actually be optimal. To, to do that because the positions you get the other players in. It's a weird game, isn't it, Blood Bowl? And it is just a lot of it is um, opinions. So there we go. The Roger is out, but the Frenzy isn't too impactful because he hasn't got this player here. So I guess he's got this player here in case of a Frenzy, but there's no Frenzy. So now he's just got this Blitz. It's really weird. Gets the push. Gets one push. Yeah, it was an unnecessary risk. Not necessary. Oh wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, that's that. Now that I would say is incorrect, right? Um, I'd call that a mistake because he could have pushed him to here, and then got another block at him. Now, it wouldn't have mattered because he would have failed the dodge anyway, but it would have cut off a dodge and a. Uh, it would have cut a dodge and a rush. 
but fails the dodge. And that makes Wenteros, well, not even the favourite still, right? Because Zahu's 1 0 up. He can still get the 8 turn stall and draw this and go through. Gets the Roger back. Still got full 11. Oh, you've got to get the rest. We can foul some Dells. <laughs> yeah, it, it could be wrong, but it could also be correct. It's so weird, isn't it? It's so weird. It's so hard to say anything about Blood Bowl that's just obviously correct. It's the POW. Definitely gonna foul this guy, isn't it? Like, even a Dark Elf Lino is really good. I wouldn't bother fouling the Skaven Linos as the Dark Elves. But if he gets a chance to like foul the Tackler, that's pretty good, isn't it? Or one of the good rats. Gutters, that's what they're called. I tend to just call gut runners rats because they're like they're the team, aren't they? They're basically the entire team is the gutter runners. So a couple of gaping holes here. Um the problem is, it doesn't help you stall till turn 8, does it, if you take this space early. He'll slam into you and shut you down a bit. So he's going to reject the gaping hole. Oh, and he's going to 1 in 27 with the Rat Ogre and remove himself. Well, that is pretty unlucky. Pretty unlucky for Zahu. Can't fully take advantage of this in terms of like hitting the ball, but he could, yeah, he's definitely just going to mega base. Wrestle better than block here for the splits. It's a weird one, isn't it? It's a, it is a weird one, the wrestle, which is... Oh, he's in, he's in trouble now, isn't he? Zahu. Rogue, the best big guy in the game. <laughs> Only a push. Yeah, he's going to run back. There's no, there's no way for him to go, so just run away, but... <laughs> He's got to run quite far away because this guy's quite far forward. Okay, now we've got the half dacker. <laughs> I mean, the great thing is for Skaven, they've got the versatility element to do that and run back and do any go anywhere and do anything. The good thing for Zahu is that he's got the freedom to lose a game, right? So he can he can go for something that's a bit riskier, knowing that he can just like he can actually absorb the loss if it if it doesn't work. So it wouldn't ma it wouldn't be so bad if he just scored early, honestly. He's got a bit of freedom on his offense. Oh dear. I don't think it's worth trying any rushes to, to do anything there. Just win the fight in front of these. Give them nowhere to go into. I think he didn't need to be so far forward. Could have been a bit further back, I think. Mean. Because, yeah, the problem is he just blows straight by you, right? So 
So you could have been like maybe wider or shallower, one of the two. Like if you'd been in this spot, right, making a screen with this guy, then this whole thing is further back or in and having to use all corners. Yeah, PC does prefer to wrestle witches. <laughs> so, he plays tabletop Swiss. In tabletop Swiss, you have to win every game. Half of the people you play aren't very good. In that situation, I would also take two, uh, two wrestle witches. <laughs> it's, but there are subtleties to things. Um, but yes, definitely for that format, 100% double witch. Can get the surf here and a 4 plus dodge in. He does. Gets the push. A wall wall. Gets the pow. I mean, probably well, just had to not bolt down there. Gets the surf. Maybe this guy being further in was better because it encouraged the sideline cage, which then got brutally punished. And now, does he score or does he cage? The stripper is there. So he scores. And 2 0 up. Makes it almost over, doesn't it? So, you know, it's, it is scary to roll those down, right? Roll that rush. Like it, the handoff that I did was traumatic last night. In fact, both handoffs that I made were absolutely traumatic. <laughs> so it's the same kind of thing, right? That 2 plus rush. Um, if it fails, it's an absolute disaster. But at the end of the day, you know, you making a 3% is better than you leaving your opponent a 10% or whatever. Don't say it's over. It's, yeah, no, it's not over, but it's, uh, it's almost over, right? Oh, well, he failed a 3 plus handoff. And, uh... Okay. Well, now... This looks real bad. For the rats. No, it's yeah. over. Hey, don't say it's over. Anything can happen. Like those dub skulls. Just picks it up and the tackles on. Dodges away. In a cage. Bob's your uncle. And everything is good. So yeah, now it looks really over, doesn't it? <laughs> now the rats have got to get the ball back. And score. But, you know, if anyone can, rats can. At the end of the day, yeah, to be fair, maybe I was too quick to dismiss rats. Rats being 2-0 down is definitely not over. They've got a stripper. They've got loads of movement now. and two plus players. Things can happen. Zen BB. Oh my god, the funniest thing ever is Flicky being a mental coach and then, and then acting like he did with Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh dear. Obviously Rolex, but like, do you know what I mean? Like, there was still a chance, right? Like the, the, you know, the dub skull eating a reroll, and you know, like, there's a chance, right? They went to Rossi. He could have won in 81 that turn, and then maybe something happened, but it's not much, is it? Yeah. Like, obviously, there's mo much more chance that he just fails a dodge, but um, I mean, it's really unlikely that he, that he loses from here. Really unlikely. Super Fun, funnily enough, the uh, the the Venger bus isn't that good versus Skaven because they're uphilling anyway. If they get in your chain, if they get in your cage, so it's like not even bad. Really. Like that's just the same as a tight cage, right? It's just the same as a tight cage for Skaven. So dodging the three tackle zones into an uphill. 
it's not really even better than a normal cage of Vengeance. So you want a H cage versus rats. Yeah. Definitely. Well, not definitely. <laughs> There's a chance, isn't there? The chance is dodging, double uphill pow him, ball goes there. This got to, I mean, you've got to like do it with this guy, right? He's got to, like four plus six plus double pow, and then this gutter goes and gets it and gives it to this gutter who scores. And then you know, then you two one down, so you've still lost. And it's over. It is over now. It is over. Actually over. Actually over. For Zahu. So that means Zahu and Wenteros. Well, Wenteros and Zahu. Wenteros was the group winner, and Zahu was second to Olivier de Lac. Um, this means that this will go to a crucial tiebreaker match to decide who qualifies. And uh, I will be live casting that in a couple of hours on Twitch as we're speaking now for the, for the YouTube people. So, uh, that would be very exciting. Man. Good afternoon, Ali Raider. Uh, no real need for... for went to roster all the dice here, but fair enough, right? It's the World Championship if people want to try and get Grouchy with his third touchdown. Fair play. Um, so yeah, there you go. Wentros makes up for the disconnect loss, which you know could have been a loss anyway, right? It's really hard to stop this game in one turn. Um, he was one nil down. The best he could get was realistically a draw. So you know that was a. Uh, he shouldn't feel too bad about the disconnect loss. I don't think. Although obviously you'll feel terrible because I know I would. Um, <laughs> but there you go. He gets the win here. So it's one one in the series. Going to a tiebreaker. Congratulations to him. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.